If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo, what's up guys? It's x -Series. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. Now, the first half here, or the first little bit here, is going to be talking about the update we got to Black Ops 4. The bigger half is going to be talking about Call of Duty 2019. We got a finally our first teaser, uh, if you will, and we got some confirmation, some more confirmation from other websites. So we'll talk about that towards the uh, later half of this video. First, let's talk about this update to Black Ops 4. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like, guys. Super appreciated. And if you are new around here, about 58% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you're watching the videos and if you're enjoying them, make sure you guys do subscribe. It's super appreciated when you do. And you'll be notified of every video that I do upload and especially COD 2019 info if you have those notifications on. So go ahead and slap those on as well. But Today's update to Black Ops 4 was very lackluster, man. It was a very weak update, in my opinion. Now, even the item shop, like, everything in the item shop is recycled. We have the dogfight, which is one that we had from a previous operation, so now they're selling this one as well. Recycled as well. Uh, I guess it's cool if you're someone who wanted to get that guy, but now, I mean, they, they, they got plasma drive, they got dogfight, uh, and it just feels like they're bringing back a whole bunch of older stuff back and it's kind of messed up in my opinion i don't know so i think the new one here is takiel so you can actually get him so again another repeat this one doesn't uh change for another week but this one also got valkyrie and so that's a new one over here and this was my special one but but yeah i mean weak weak I, I mean we are like really close to the start of days of summer which i think is next week already and this so this was technically the, the last update for this operation this first half of the operation which was called what was the name of it again it was operation specter rising and I, i'm i'm still a bit away i'm like eight tiers away another thing that i noticed and uh, this was mentioned like two days after it was implemented last week like i think it was like thursday but the double tier skip that we were getting or the double bonus is gone if you're a season pass owner super bummed out about that i actually really really enjoyed that it was only for a week so we got those five reserve crates and we got that double bonus and now that's gone so I wish I had taken a little bit more advantage of it, but I had a internet outage for a little bit and I just wasn't able to play as much. So I'm bummed out, but you know, that that's also what happened here with the update. We also did get a new featured mode, which is bolt action bare bones, which is snipers only. But a lot of people are upset from what I saw on Twitter because you can knife and you can also use explosives or la launchers and stuff. So a lot of people are very upset at that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that is what's up with that. I don't know if they change anything. Oh, close quarter frenzy in uh blackout which okay that's pretty cool i kind of like that so those are the changes for black ops 4 now let's go ahead and talk about specifically that call of duty 2019 leak and rumor and stuff like that so let's jump into that so yes we got a very very weak update here for black ops 4 this time around i think uh, the bolt action mode could be fun once they get rid of those knives and launchers so i can't wait to try that one out haven't tried it just yet but uh, overall, like the black market week, I think we got like one or two new items this whole operation, which sucks. It really does. But hopefully Days of Summer brings a ton of really fun stuff, which also there is rumors going that we are getting some new weapons also for Days of Summer on Call of Duty World War II. So if we do get an update over there and we get new weapons, I'll definitely have you guys covered because I still very much enjoy Call of Duty World War II. And I'm kind of really happy to see that they're still supporting that game and adding stuff to it, despite the fact that we saw all that news about Call of Duty 2020, where Sledgehammer Games is no longer in charge of that game, that Raven was supposed to do it, and then they couldn't get along, and their game got canceled, and now Treyarch is coming in to try to save the day. So they're still working technically on COD 2020. And But, you know, after all that bad news, and I'm assuming just like really bad feelings and vibes in the studio it's kind of cool to see that they're still trucking along and trying to provide some stuff here for call of duty world war ii so you know i applaud them i think that's really freaking cool all right so let's go ahead and talk about this call of duty 2019 teaser now this was noticed last night by a whole bunch of youtubers i myself tweeted this out i think it was like at 3 a.m or like 2 30 a.m but call of duty the official twitter account went dark and i tweeted out i put what's up at call of duty and if you guys will see their avatar blacked out it just says the, it has technically the new call of duty logo which huge shout out to daz or crafty animations for actually giving me a nice hd recreation of that new call of duty logo so they change the call of duty part of the font a little bit for every game and so this is the new one you guys will see it here popping up on screen so we got that new one and then we also did get the blacked out thing so uh the actual twitter account the background blacked out the avatar has the new call of duty logo 
and uh, in the description says going dark now it wasn't just twitter because also on instagram all of these stories and uh, pretty much everything call of duty related was removed so now that one is going dark along with i think also facebook did it as well i'm not sure how far it goes but i think all their social media are now blacked out i think youtube was the last one to get updated or i don't know if it's still not updated but i'll definitely check here in a little bit but that was kind of like the big teaser we just started getting more info and teasers here for call of duty 2019 and it looks like we're officially getting info now here's the thing we should be getting that reveal in another 48 hours uh there was also another leak that someone mentioned to me that was uh someone tweeted out and i'll try to find the tweet if i don't then uh, i still got the info for you guys because i did see it but there was a call of duty account that tweeted out the reveal and they said that the reveal is at 6 p.m on thursday which also lines up with a whole bunch of other youtubers who or specifically uh we have syndicate who was saying that he could talk about it on the 30th and leaks are pointing to a reveal that day so on thursday we might actually be seeing the reveal of call of duty 2019 now uh, whether this is a big reveal or a small reveal we'll have to see from what long sensation has been saying on twitter and he's been very talkative about the info that he knows about call of duty 2019 he said that it's going to be a rather large reveal it's not just going to be a trailer and it's actually going to have a ton of stuff there mentioned which i think is really cool not only that he's actually been teasing like more about stuff that is going to be kind of friendly to consumers which i think is really freaking cool so this is what he tweeted out about that because i think a lot of people are making fun of him because he pointed this out but he tweeted out and this was about 10 hours ago honestly if everything i'm hearing is true then this year will revive call of duty think of everything you thought activision slash call of duty would never do and they did it this is me saying this as a cod fan we're in for one hell of a year on so many different levels and i know this title revive call of duty is said every year but this title is so different on so many different levels the core game, the DLC, esports, and even the overall business model of the game, everything will change. Stay tuned. Now, what I think about this, I think that this might mean that we are actually getting some sort of free to play model. Maybe we are getting a ton of stuff that the community has wanted for the longest time that we felt was crippled. You know, what about DLC exclusivity? What if there is no longer that? What if the DLC will all drop at the same time? That would be amazing if they did that. It would be really awesome for the community. Uh, the other controversial stuff that I feel like a lot of people talk about is the season pass and even people who have season passes they complain they even saw it here with black ops 4 that when you get new maps it like fragments the community from everyone else and so you're playing with this pool of people who only have the DLC and so maybe in the future if they are going free to play you know rumor has it that there is going to be a uh, multiplayer as the free to play aspect of the game then maybe we'll be just be getting free maps and free DLC that people can get and play and then they can make all their money off the store and hopefully the store is better updated than black ops 4 because as we saw today that freaking update was weak as hell so hopefully if if they are doing free to play then the store is pretty cool and they have actual things that are really pro consumer as opposed to anti-consumer so we'll definitely see but if there's free to play multiplayer with free maps and stuff that would be freaking cool we already saw from cod mobile that they also do have their own little like contraband stream also on there and in that one you can buy like a premium version of it and there's also one that is like free to play so so if i had to guess free to play uh maybe multiplayer with a season pass that you can buy and there's also like free aspects to it so like free maps and stuff and also like free little rewards you get on a contraband stream but then if you are a season pass owner or you buy that season's pass uh, or you know that operation as we've been seeing with black ops 4 then you're able to get rewards uh that are better up or because you're paying for them so we'll definitely see about that but i'm excited for this let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below but I'm actually pretty excited for a change like that. So the other thing that we saw leaks today, we saw that Twitch actually has updated their game directory to also say Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, from what I understand, what people were talking about, Twitch usually does this uh, when whenever Giant Bomb, which is a gaming website, whenever they update and add new games, usually Twitch will grab it from there and then also put it in their game directory. So uh, it might just be that because Giant Bomb is doing it, because apparently Giant Bomb is going off Jason Schreier, who has confirmed that it is Call of Duty Modern Warfare, then that's probably why we're seeing it. But again, another website now adding Call of Duty Modern Warfare as an official game, which I think is pretty awesome and pretty cool. 
So I think that's pretty much all the leaks and rumors we got today, guys. We had the blackout stuff on the social medias for Call of Duty. We should be getting a reveal in a couple of days. I definitely will be here to cover it for you guys. So make sure you guys are here on the channel. Make sure you are subscribed. Have those notifications. Super, super important, guys, so you don't miss a single upload. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a like. It's super incredibly appreciated. It shares the videos around. It helps the channel grow. So if you could do me that favor, drop a like. That'd be incredible. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you guys can do so by checking out my channel memberships. You get access to early content, exclusive videos, and posts on the community posts. And you also get access to awesome, awesome perks and content. So check it out only if you're willing and able to. And then if you want to talk about anything, I'm constantly talking on Twitter, guys. Usually on there talking about stuff before I make videos. So give me a follow over there at OGX series. And we'll have a link down below in the description. You guys have an awesome day. Take care. I can't wait for this reveal. Let me know if you guys are excited as well. I'm out. Peace. Mercs think twice before trying that again.